Well, how do you do, everybody? Glad to have you with us. The Central Suburban South Conference race continues as the new chair, Trevian take on the Niles West Wolves. Danny Katz on the mound for the Trevians. And Tommy Galanopoulos leading it off for the Wolves. And the first offering in there for a strike, strike one. Well, it's a way to celebrate the birthday. Officially, it's real time when the game was played. My 65th birthday. This umpire, they're the base hit single. Played uh, and then an error. And over to second goes Galanopoulos. This umpire played hockey for Glenbrook North back in the mid-80s. It's low and outside of all. I went back, took a look on my birthday at high school. Foul ball back, wake up call for us. So 65 years ago, New Trier played Oak Park in a double header. And the way they used to do it, they didn't play during the week, only played on weekends. And then whosoever home field it was, was the home team for the first game. Foul ball. Home team for the first game, and then they switched it around. So, for instance, in that particular series, uh, my birthday 65 years ago, ground ball, shortstop, whoopsie. Oak Park got the uh, home in the first game, and Nutra got the home team in the second, even though they were playing at Oak Park. So got a bit strike, uh, two errors and runners at the corners, a single and two errors. And Tyler Stegich, the batter. Got a first. Runner back. They split that double header. Played full seven on both of them, by the way. Little inside a ball. What's even more scary is the seniors on that team, 65 years ago, are now 83 years old. Strike out of the inside corner. Of course, I'm 65. That's The Korean War would start about two weeks later when the North Koreans had invaded the South Korea. There's a fly ball, left field, taken by Hamas, and that's going to be a sacrifice fly to bring home the run. Here's Mike Gunnart. Swing and a miss, strike. So one away, runner at first. A run in for the Wolves here in the top of the first inning. Pitch inside a ball. And high bounder taking it third. Nearly ate him up. Over to first in time. Two away. Here's Blake Cones. Cons, I guess. Shorto. Swing and a miss. Strike. Strike. 
So runner at second. As Tantos moves on over. And so a little ground ball and knockdown. That's all they're going to get out of that. Here comes the runner home. And it is 2-0 Niles West. On the single by Cons and courtesy runner over there, Johnny Paps. Swing and a miss. A little foul tip. Got a little piece of it. George, George, Georgevich, the batter. And that's low ball. Baseball action. About halfway home with the conference play. Round ball. In fact, it's not even. Over to first. This will be halfway home. And that'll do it for the top of the first inning. Niles West 2 and the new Trier Trevians coming to bat. Clay Sosinski will lead it off. And a ground ball, short stop. Up, throwing, what up, one down. Here's Scott Hamas. And in there for a strike. Low and outside a ball. And that one's also low and outside the ball. Swing and a miss. Strike. And the pitch, a little ground ball. Again, shortstop charge over to first in time. Two up, two down. Matt Bosco, the batter. The outfield for Niles West actually plays a little shallow. There's a strike. That can come up to bite him a little bit. Depending on which way the wind's blowing. Nice day for baseball. There's a fly ball. And that's going to get out past that left fielder out there. Gapper and Bosco into segment stand-up double. But two out. And Jake Reynolds, the batter. Yeah, strike, strike one. Reynolds, the center fielder. Inside a ball. Next week, in real time, the Trevians have the Main South Hawks and then finish up the regular season against the Evanston Wildcats in the Central Suburban South Conference. Yeah, 
And strike three, and we're done with the first inning. At the end of one, it's Niles West two and Nutra nothing. We'll be back. On cable and the internet, this is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Because the adolescent brain is still forming, teenage drinking causes and can cause major brain damage. Be aware of the risks. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the second inning. And the bottom third of the batting order due up for the Wolves. Kevin Lochner leads it off to face Danny Katz. Katz delivery is on the inside corner for the strike. Went to the same spot, same result. Strike two. Went outside and got him. Strike three. So, three pitches, one up, one down. Here's Michael Byrne. So I got a bit straight. Low and outside a ball. And a high pop up foul back and a windshield whacker. Another one fouled off. And strike three. So two up, two down. Quickly here in the top of the second. And number nine in the batting order, Jeremy Pignato, the batter. And he takes a pitch low for a ball. Ball one. Pignato, batting here, two out. Trevian outfield shaded to the right. And that's where he hits it. Right fielder reaches up, makes the catch. Well, it wasn't pretty, but Hurley got the job done. We go to the bottom half of the second inning. And Mike Hurley will lead it off. For the Trevians. Hurley, Rosenthal, and Ryan Acre do up. And a pitch low ball. Trevians chasing two early in the ball game. And knocked down the pickup. Nope, not going to get him. And score that as a single. Here's Max Rosenthal. And he takes a pitch outside for a ball. Foul tip. Got a little piece of it. I guess he didn't. Just a swing and a miss and drop. But scored as a stolen base for Hurley then. And goes the bunt. Pick up the throw and nope. High. Drew him off the base. Well that's an error. So two on, and courtesy runner, Mike Gallo. 
Hurley at third. Gallo at first. Ryan Eckrey the batter. The look in. Throw to first. Runner back. And there goes the runner now and a stolen base. So Gallo with the steal, second stolen base of the inning. And a ground ball, shortstop has it over to first in time. But the run home, and it's a 2 what ball game. And runner at third. Here's Dylan McGuire. And McGuire with a high bounder. Whoopsie. Everybody's safe. And McGuire on at first. Here's Kevin Donahue. And he goes to bunt. They throw to second. Nope. That's just a fielder's choice. And not an error. So two on. And Clay Sosinski the batter. And Sosinski butts. And that's a beauty. And uh, they're going to have no play anywhere. So a butt single for Sosinski. And the bases are loaded. Here's Scott Hamas. I am tied a ball. One out. And a ground ball. Short stop. They'll take the play at third for the out. And the ball game. Is now a Trevian lead at three to two. And here's Matt Bosco. He doubled his last time up to the gap in left center. And a high fly ball. Center fielder waits. And takes it for the out. And we are done with the second inning. Trevians gain the lead 3-2. to two. We'll be back with more. Sports casting on the greater North Shore. Equals the Metro Chicago Sports Network. No text is worth dying over. Stop the text. Stop the wrecks. Drive now. Text later. A message into public interest for the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Where we go to the top of the third inning. And top of the batting order. Two up for the Wolves. Tommy Galanopoulos letting it off. Takes a strike. Galanopoulos, Tontis, and... Steggett shot side of ball. And a fly ball. Drifting over is Reynolds, and he has it for the out. One up, one down. And here's Christos Tantos. That just takes one low and outside of ball. Danny Katz on the mound. Top of the third inning. Errors, a lot of them in this ball game. And they have been costly on both sides of the ball. There's a strike. Neutral with the 3 2 lead. Yeah. 
And scoop that, fly ball. Again, it's going to be Reynolds that takes it for the out. Two away. And Tyler Stegett. Sacrifice flies last time up, so no official at bat. And yeah, right back up the middle base, it's single. And here's Mike Gunnert. Trevian sent eight to the plate. Then the bottom of the second. Swing it a bit, strike. Most runs ever scored in a day by a new Trier team. A day night doubleheader back uh, on this date 15 years ago. That team that ended up winning state had six professional athletes so at some level on that team. Pitches low ball. There goes the runner. And stolen base. On the on May 6, 2000, Nutrier scored 44 runs in one day. 25 against Maine East and 19 against Clemente. Foul ball, Winter Wacker. So runner at second. And Gunnett continues to bat. Another one fouled away. And again, fall back. And a wake up call for us. And strike three on the inside corner at the letters. So we go to the bottom half of the third. And the Nutrier Trevians leading this one three to two. And Jake Reynolds, the only player who didn't bat last inning. Bats here to lead off the third for the Trevians. Ground ball, second baseman going to have it. Over to first, and one up, one down. Here's Mike Hurley. And a strike. The new Trier's had some hitting woes this year. Also some mental lapses but they're still well over 500 which is low ball he did go Strike to Hurley. Max Rosenthal on deck. And inside a ball. Hey, I have a 
come by and see me, by the way. What? You need to come by and see me. Before. I owe you money. You need to come by my house. Set to the outside. Pitch comes in a little bit. Left fielder. Drifts over, takes it for the out. Two up, two down. And here's Rosenthal. Swing on a bit strike. Bottom of the third inning. I tied a ball. And fall off. They wait a little longer now because they can do it on computer for the uh, playoff seedings. And pitch low ball. The super sectionals who plays in them has been set in stone for quite some time. I think they do that at the beginning of the year. But the seedings for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and subsequently where you play changes. Ball four. And Rosenthal aboard. Again, Mike Gallo, the courtesy runner for Rosenthal. And Ryan Ackray bats. And a strike, and no, make it a ball, and Gallo steals second on the first pitch to Acre. I guess that pitch was a little bit low, maybe a little bit outside. And a line shot. That's going to be a gapper out right center way, and Acre on his way to second. Lumbering in and exchanges places with Mike Gallo, who comes home to score. And Dental McGuire bats. And it's a 4-2 Trevian lead. There's a strike. Set to the outside. And the pitch. Low and outside. A ball. So McGuire bats and takes a strike. (laughs) And strike three, and that be it for the inning. So we go to the fourth. And New Trier leading this one 4-2. to two. Check out the Metro Chicago Sports Network.com homepage for YouTube On Demand broadcast from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. For every alcoholic drink an athlete takes, they lose one full day of work that they have put in training. Be aware of the risks. A message in the public interest of the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the fourth inning. Blake Conn's leading it off. 
Yeah, swinging a bit straight. Strike one. We're here at Wilbur Duke Childs Field. The home of the Trevians almost as long as I've been alive. I got him beat by about five years. Strike it a bit. Strike two. And low and outside a ball. Ground ball. Shortstop has it. Up throwing. In top. One away. Here's George Georgievich. Yeah, foul ball. Round ball. Right back up the middle. Single. So, Georgievich aboard with one out. And Kevin Lochner goes to the bunt. Going to move the runner along. Did so. And Michael burned the batter. Shot fall outside of third. Down in the corner, out in the stream. Here to Wichel Wagon. Back into the parking lot here. We're out to Willow Road, one of the two. He did go. Strike three. And the inning is over. We're halfway done with the ball game. And the Nutri Trevians leading it four to two. And leading it off here in the fourth is Kevin Donahue. And first pitch inning through for the base hit. A single for Donahue to lead off the frame here. And Clay Sosinski the batter. And shows butt. Pulls it back. And a ball low on that side. Third baseman with a, with a swing by Sosinski. To get a face full of baseball. Delivery on the way, low and outside the ball. There goes the runner and stolen base for Donahue. So, runner at second. And nobody out. Goes to butt, fouled it off. Trevians have a lot of young players on the team that really have to learn the game a little bit and the nuances scooped at and fouled out of play. Positioning, throwing, when to throw, when not to throw, that sort of thing. And effective at bats. It's all of that's had a little bit of an impact this year on the season. Foul ball. A little bit of the team concept in there, too. Ground ball. Shortstop has it. Up throwing in time. But that moves the runner over to third. And Scott Hamas, the batter.
One out, runner at third. Swinging a bit straight. Thomas. With a chance to get an RBI here. Strike on the inside corner. To the Trevian's left fielder. And set to the outside. Pitch comes in instead and a ball. down first base flip over nope and they score that as an error or I'm going to score it as an error I don't know what they officially scored it in any event a run on another run home and here's Matt Bosco there goes Hamas stolen base Outside of all. And low, a ball. And strike. The Bosco. Hobbes on second. Another run in. It's 5 2 Trevian lead. There goes Hamas again. And he's out on the strikeout, but Hamas gets credit for the stolen base. So runner at third, and here's Jake Reynolds. Yeah, strike, strike one. Trying for the suicide squeeze would be my guess there. Put two out. And third baseman's got to stay back. There's a fly ball. That's going to be down and back towards the warning track. They'll score another run, and Reynolds into second stand-up double. And two runs in in the inning, and it's a 6-2 Trevian game. Mike Hurley. And there goes the runner. And... Well, you know what? I'm going to give that a stolen base because he was he was off before the the catcher bobbled it that makes seven stolen bases for the Trevians four in this inning alone Hurley swings and misses Strike. It's two, not three. Now the look in set to the outside. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And the inning over. But the Trevians pick up two more late at six to two. At the end of four, we'll be back with more here on the network. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, catch all our 
games on our YouTube affiliate through the Metro Chicago Sports Network.com homepage. The Metro Chicago Sports Network. Teach young adults to follow the law instead of ways of getting around it. A message in the public interest for the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Where we go to the top of the fifth inning. Jeremy Pignatato leading it off. Pignato had an extra syllable in there. So Pignato leading it off. Two and out. And in there for a strike. And strike three. And there be one away. Is Galanopoulos. And he takes a strike on the outside corner. Swing out a bit, strike. Danny gets on the mound. Six errors now between the two teams. Or five errors make it. Fly ball. Center fielder over. Has it for the out. And two down. Here's Chris Tontas. He takes a pitch outside for a ball. And in the dirt, a ball. And fly ball. And no, not going to get to that one. Right along the line, a base hit single. And Tyler Stegich. Uh, Stegich, the batter. Runner at first. Yeah, strike on the outside corner. Top of the fifth inning. In a somewhat slow ball game here today. Low and outside the ball. And I wanted to go fast. No, think about it. It's my birthday. I wanted to go fast. Never mind. <laughs> Delivery. Foul ball off. Out of pitch. High and tight. A ball. Shave an haircut. Two bits. Number three in the batting art for the Wolves. This is. His third time up to the plate, only his second, potentially second official at bat. And a ground ball, a fair ball right down the line. Here comes the runner to third, the throw, not in time. Slides in there safe. And a double for Stegich right over the bag. It's a two on. And Mike Gunnard, the batter. And a base hit single. 
That will score one. So runners at the corners. Three hits in a row for the Wolves. There goes the runner and throw out the second. And that wasn't even close on the steal. Out into center field. So runner at third. And a foul ball back. So on the third error of the ball game for the Trevians. Another run home. And Collins fouls one off. Pitches high a ball. Gone's one for two on the day so far. And a base hit to right. Good job of opposite field hitting. And a run home. And again, the courtesy runner over there. And George. Georgievich, the batter. He's one for two on the day. And the Wolves have come back here with three runs in the inning. Round ball foul. And it is now a 6-5 ball game. Trevians lead by a digit. Round ball, slow roller. That's going to be a base hit. The short left field. And Kevin Lochner, the batter. And squib fall. Foul ball back. Yeah, another one fall off. To the left. Two on. Two out. Three runs in. Here in the top of the fifth inning for the Wolves. And outside a ball. Well, in the old days, not counting Nutra or West, had these two teams played each other. It would have been the Indians versus the Indians. Nutrier got rid of the Indians when they put the two schools back together again, Nutri East and West, and made them the Trevians. Strike three. And Niles West. Changed over, I want to say, about uh, about 15 years ago to the Wolves. Something like that. So we go to the bottom half of the frame. And Max Rosenthal letting it off. Takes a ball. Rosenthal, Acri, and Dylan McGuire scheduled to bat. There's a strike. And a pitch low ball. So bottom of the fifth inning. So 
Swing and a ground ball. Second baseman up, throwing. One up, one down. Here's Ryan Eckery. And he takes a pitch outside for a ball. Dirt a ball. Either a pass ball or wild pitch. Hard to tell from this angle. Fouled off to the left. Scooped it and a base hit to right. Single for Akri. And Will Frank. Pinch batting here for McGuire. And the ball gets away. Akri over to second. And now we're going to have a pinch runner out there, Matt Ken. Now running. Running for Akre. So Ken at second. And a line shot to right. That's a base hit. And coming home to score is Can with the seventh run of the ball game for the Trevians. They lead it seven to five. A little insurance needed. And pinch runner over there. Will McNulty he is pinch running, and I would assume will take over at third. It's out of first. You get another one over there. McNulty back both times. Kevin Donahue, the batter. And a sack on the bunt. Moves the runner along. So two out. Runner at second. Bottom of the fifth inning. And Clay Sosinski, the batter. Clay one for three on the day. Single back in the second. And scoop that fly ball. Right fielder has it. And we are done with the fifth. New Trier leads it 7-5 to five over the Niles West Wolves. And we'll be back. You are watching the Metro Chicago Sports Network on cable or the internet. There's no privilege that lets a parent violate the law and permit teenage drinking or drug abuse. Parents who host lose the most. Don't be a party to teenage drinking. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network where we go to the top of the sixth inning of this one. Andres LeBoy Leading it off. And takes a strike. New pitcher on the mound, Ryan Acre. Uh, Ryan Acre? No, Ryan Hack. Right first name, wrong last name. Ryan Hack on the mound now. Yeah, strike. Pretty good movement on that ball. So Hack bats. Heck, on the mound. Hello. Well, see, I told you, I turned 65. Senior moment. Andres LeBoy batting for uh, Mike 
burned here for the Wolves. Outside a ball. And fall ball back. And straight three. Caught him looking. One up, one down. Here's Jeremy Pignato. Trevians have Hamas Bosco and Reynolds do up at the bottom of the frame. Pitch right outside the ball. Senior moments are becoming more and more prevalent, I can tell you, man. Can still remember all the stuff way back on the players or whatever. Can't remember names, keys, where I put my keys, where I parked my car in the parking lot. Go in a room five seconds later, go, why did I come in here? Swing and a miss strike. Big Nato batting. And now I understand Harry Carey and Jack Brickhouse and Bob Elson and some of those great television and radio guys, play-by-play announcers, that as they got older, sounded the way they sounded. Ball four. Pignato aboard. And Tommy Gallinopoulos, the batter. New catcher also, by the way, Eric Hoffman, now behind the plate. And there goes the runner, stolen base for Pignato. Couple of things uh, to mention. Former Trevian pitcher uh, Ben Clemish has now been moved up. He had five saves uh, at Pensacola, Florida, and has been moved up to Louisville, Kentucky, Class AAA. Ben was one of those players. He had, a, he had some things to offer, but really wasn't until he got away to college that he developed. And Charlie Tilson drafted right out of New Trier is at Class AA Springfield and Hitting up a storm, stealing bases, too. He's got 11 already on the year. And batting over 300 as we speak. Strike three. And two away. Here's Chris Tantas. Safe on an error. A single score to run. And he also flew out to center. In his previous plate appearances, there's a strike. Facing Ryan Hack for the first time, though. And a pitch high, a ball. Squibbed foul. Runner at second. And straight up the shoot, but Hoffman didn't know where it was. 
Landed down here in front of us. And a little piece of it. So Tontis continues to bat. His two older brothers played for the Wolves. And had reasonably decent careers out of it. Yeah, the runner diving back, but the Clay Szynski wasn't even looking. And I don't know if Hoffman broke or not. Didn't matter. At least they kept the runner honest. And a base hit. Here comes the runner home. Here comes the throw. Not in time. They'll throw out to second. Not in time there either. So it's a 7-6 ball game. And Tyler Stegich, the batter, takes a pitch outside the ball. Stegich, number three in the batting guard for the Wolves. Officially two for two on the day. And got a sacrifice fly RBI out of it too. And a pitch inside the ball. Trevians have Hamas, Bosco, and Reynolds do up bottom half of the frame. Two out. And pitch high and outside the ball. And ball four. So two on, and the cleanup batter, Gunner. And new pitcher on the mound, and do Everlino. Fall back out of play. So, Ervalino, third pitcher of the day for the Trevians. And a strike on the outside corner. Baseball. Moving along. And a buck. As the runners both in scoring position. A tying run at third, the lead run at second. But two out. A long look. Now Arvalino into the windup, the pitch. Well outside of ball. The sign from Hoffman. The wind by Arvalino. And again, well outside of ball. And low ball. Wow, you don't want to load the bases here. And the delivery. Oh, he went fishing in Skokie Lagoon. Strike three. And 
We go to the bottom half of the sixth. Trevians leading this one seven to six. And leading it off, Scott Hamas shows bunt, takes a strike. Scott has two stolen bases on the ball game, both in his last time at bat. Uh, error single, however you want to score that. And two stolen bases. There's a strike. The look in. And the pitch. And a high fly ball. Right fielder. Shallow. That, well, they both called it. And they both nearly collided catching it. Right fielder finally ended up willing out. Taking it for the out. Here's Matt Bosco. Back at the first. He doubled to the left center field gap. Here's a strike. So one out. And low it outside a ball. Kind of a lengthy ball game today. And the pitch. High fly ball. Left fielder drifts over a little bit. Takes her for the out. Two away. Here's Jake Reynolds. Second event, straight. And a whoopsie followed up. And a pitch high a ball. So Reynolds, he doubled his last time up. He also stole a base in that. It was the fourth inning. And a pitch low ball. And strike three. And three up, three down for the Trevians in the sixth. We go to the seventh. Trevians leading by a run, 7-6 over Niles West. We'll be back with more. Selected games on YouTube On Demand from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Being on a team is a privilege and not a right. Playing in a game is also a privilege and not a right. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Where we go to the seventh inning of this one. Trevians holding on to a one run lead. Catcher Blake Collins leading it off. He is two for three on the day. Facing Irvalino. Pitch outside a ball. Ball one. Mm -hmm. 
Ball two. And a strike on the outside corner. And the count goes blackjack. To Blake Hans. Irvalino delivers. Outside the ball. George Georgievich on deck. Slow little ground ball. Sazenski to Bosco for out number one. And here is George Georgievich. That side of all. And a strike. The lock and load outside a ball. And a windshield whacker. Strike three. Two down. So the Wolves down to their last out here. In the top of the seventh inning. And it is Kevin Lochner batting. And it's a ground ball. Second baseman over to first and the ball game is all over. Final word on this ball game for the new Trier Trevians. Seven runs, eight hits, three errors. They were struck out five times, walked once. Trevians left six on base and seven stolen bases for the Trevians. For the Niles West Wolves, six runs, ten hits, three errors. They were struck out ten times, walked twice. Seven left on base and one stolen base. So that'll do it for us for this ball game. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Stick around all during the spring and summer for more baseball action. Catch this game anytime you want on demand. And for all of us, we say as always, thanks for watching and. So long, everybody.